Hey guys, what's up? Um, I just want to come on here and show you guys my lunch that I'm about to have. Um, I didn't record yesterday. I apologize for that. Um, just going crazy. So much stuff going on. I can finally sit and breathe. So I'm having a salad with chicken, eggs, carrots, romaine lettuce, and cucumbers. I got my bottle of water. I'm using Italian dressing. So yeah, guys, that's my lunch, and I'm about to tear it up. I will see you guys later. Broccoli tots. So good. Ooh, sorry. They're like tater tots with broccoli and cheese in them. Well, I just wanted to show y'all. I'll get the bag. Not potato. It's so good. So you guys can get them. They're at Walmart for like three dollars and something. Veggie tots. Mine don't look like the ones on the bag, but that's okay. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm just sitting here, and I figure I'll just jump on. Um, we supposed to get some snow tonight. We have some out there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We have some out there, but we're supposed to get some more. Okay. Look like I'm telling somebody to call me. <laughs> I'm retarded. Um, I was just talking to this chick on um Facebook, right? And she's saying that she's getting weight loss surgery, but it's been pushed back three times. So she said it's been pushed back again for the last time and she's not having it until May. So I'm like, okay. So then I read some more and she says, and now her husband is threatening her to get out because she doesn't keep a clean house. Why would you, first of all, why would you write that on Facebook that you don't keep a clean house? You don't want people to know that? You have some manners. Like, what? For one. And then for two, um, your husband talking about get out. Nigga, bye. You got me messed up. Okay? I'm not leaving my house. Excuse me. I'm not leaving my house, nor my children. So you got another thing coming, brah. Because I'm not leaving. And that's one of the things that makes me so mad with so many men. They think they in control of everything. Like they own this, they own that. Mine, he says that if I was to ever, we ever decided to get a divorce, he would move out. This is my stuff. Exactly. You knew that before you even married me. No, I'm just joking. No, I don't want it that way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want him to just be like oh you this is all your no i don't want this brown stuff browns is not my thing right now they a bunch of losers but <laughs> but i mean i would split the stuff 50 50 with them you know what i'm saying like we got multiple tvs split those we got multiple living room sets split those you know what i'm saying because we got two living rooms but you ain't telling me to get out because i am not going nowhere okay so I thought that was really kind of messed up that he said that she wrote on Facebook. Then also, they have two little twin daughters that are two years old. I kind of felt bad for her with that, too, because she said that the kids has to stay there, but she has to go. He's making her leave, but the kids, they can stay there. I mean, I understand that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not leaving my kids, neither. <laughs> See, I almost went there. I'm not leaving my kids either. So I really don't care. No, no. So I'm trying to give her like some advice on, you know, what to do. She says she's going to stay there. She's just going to stay upstairs. She's not going to, you know, say nothing to him. She's just going to continue to do what she needs to do. And um, 
She's not leaving her babies. She says she's worked so hard for this relationship for the longest. And everybody keeps saying, well, he's using the house. You being a messy housekeeper, an excuse. And that's what he pretty much probably doing. He probably hating on the fact that she about to have a surgery. She about to have a, a banging ass body. So, you know, and all these men out here going to be looking at her. So that's what he could be. You know, some men, they their self-esteem... It's just down, so they try to take it out on other people. But, you know, no, nah, I'm cool. You ain't taking my kids. You're not kicking me out of my house, so you can forget all that. And, yeah. So that was my little story today that I'm trying to help this young lady out. I mean, I hope my words are helping her out. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't leave either. To be honest with you, I really wouldn't. I would stay in my room. You could stay on a couch or you can go to another spare room that we got or something. But I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I gotta drink me some coffee. It's freaking 5 o'clock at night and I'm drinking coffee. So, yeah. So that's what's going on. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. <sighs> I am tired. I am. Like, I got this pain in my shoulder. It hurts so bad. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, What's today? Today, Thursday. Oh. <laughs> today, Thursday. Tomorrow, I got physical therapy. Because I didn't tell you guys. I forgot to tell y'all. That I have vertigo. Some of y'all may know what it is. Some of y'all may not know what it is. If you don't know what it is, please Google it. And get the right information because I don't want to mess it up. All I know is, is that it's something to do with the inner ear. You have two ears, but then you got one inside your head. It has something to do with the inner ear that is not, it's off. It's like kind of off. So when you bend down and you come back up, you like super dizzy. Like the whole room is spinning. You constantly get migraines. Um, And what else does it do to me? It makes me nauseous. So... I didn't have this until I moved the hell out here. Soon as I moved out here, that's when all this crazy stuff wanted to happen to the girl, you know? Like, she put on all this weight. She freaking got this vertigo crap going on. You know what I'm saying? This, that's, this is crazy. Like, I didn't have this until I moved out here. This is so crazy. But, yeah, I got vertigo. So, my PCP wants me to go to physical therapy i've never heard of physical therapy helping vertigo but i'm gonna try it okay i'm going to try it so um oh i forgot to call him um so yeah i go tomorrow at 10 45 for this vertical fixer and um yeah then i go to pay management monday so i'm hoping that he can give me a referral to go to physical therapy for the pool. I want to do aqua therapy again. That is fun, and I like being in the water. I love being in that water. What the frick's going on in Kent State? <sighs> More problems. All right, guys. Well, I will talk to y'all later. Just wanted to come on here, had this little chit chat with y'all while I drink my coffee. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> And let y'all know about my appointments. But all right, I will talk to y'all later when I eat my last salad. You know what? Oh my God, I can't get off here yet. These salads, like this is very hard, okay? This is very, it just took a whole baseball part. This is very, very hard to do. It is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, my God, it's so good. It's so good. No. Okay. Forget all that. Okay. This is the hardest shit I ever had to do in my life. And, but you know what, though? I'm going to continue to do it. Regardless, I'm going to continue to do it. Even though my husband's sitting up here eating chicken wings and hot dogs and all this other good stuff, steak and potatoes and stuff. I'm doing my salads. I said I'm going to do the seven-day challenge. I'm going to do the seven-day challenge, okay? I know it's killing Lexus. I know it's killing her. I know she want to quit right now.
I know she do. But we're coming along with it. We're going to continue to eat our salads. We're going to continue to just move forward. So that's what I wanted to let y'all know too. All right, guys. I will let you know what's going on later.